scaling up ISIS model for energy poverty. We would like to show to you what we are doing to build a delivery and sustainable plan for the implementation and scalability of the ISIS project. Uh, the presentation is on behalf of Marina Vervesi from ICE for Italy as coordinator of the ISIS project and Marta Garcia from EcoSurvey Spain as coordinator of the SUIT project. First of all, let's have a look at what was done within the ASSIS project. The ASSIS project was a European H2020 project to test an innovative holistic model to tackle energy poverty. It was based on an empowered figure, an empowered operator working on the ground, which we called the Household Energy Advisor, also called the HEA. Thanks to the holistic approach used within the project, uh, the model, i.e. the HEA, can actually be taken up within different contexts, uh, be it public or private, uh, but also social or energy. The ASSIS project was coordinated by ITFOR and carried out in six different countries, uh, and it was developed between 2017 and 2020. More information on the ASSIS project uh, are, are available either on the ASSIS website uh, or on the CORTIS database of funded projects. Now, let's have a look at what was done within the project and what exactly is the ASSIST model. So the ASSIST model is based on this empowered operator, the HEA, which actually acts as a bridge with the, the people in need. The model is based on three activities of the HEA, i.e. the training, the networking, and the action. As mentioned, uh, the HEA can come from different working contexts, uh, be it a uh, private actor such as utilities, but also social operators, but also public uh, actors uh, such as utilities and other local uh, actors. The uh, operators undertake a training and at the end of the training are at, become the HEAs and uh, therefore become members of the national and European HEA network. Uh, they are therefore able to deliver advice, uh, support actions on the ground directly on energy poverty related issues. Uh, therefore supporting people in need. Examples of the services of the HEAs uh, are for example a help desk on energy poverty or also more specifically home visits or energy checkups. Uh, they can also provide support to access uh, financial help and other activities. So what have we found out within the SS project? Well, we did uh, uh, verify that the HEA contributes uh, to elevate energy poverty. It uh, supports uh, the reduction of energy consumption. This was verified uh, through the energy consumption data on the energy bills. It is true that we are speaking of a very specific target, people in energy poverty. So these people usually underconsume their energy, but there is a small amount of people who actually are not aware of their energy consumptions. And in this case, um, a household energy advisor can provide them the information needed and can help them to reduce uh, their energy waste and energy consumptions. The increase of awareness uh, by the HEA can also help uh, in reducing the money spent uh, for the energy bills. In fact, uh, knowing more on uh, what are their energy needs uh, and what are the energy consumption habits, uh, the HEA can support people in switching to a better contract, a contract which is more favorable uh, according to what are the habits uh, and the en needs uh, for energy. And this too was verified against the objective data. Uh, speaking about subjective, that is perceived uh, impact, uh, an HEA uh, supports uh, the increased comfort level. Consumers in energy poverty, knowing that they can refer and have advice by an HEA, have stated that their comfort level in the household has increased thanks to the advice received. Uh, they also have stated that they feel less vulnerable, therefore more protected and Better, uh, and they better understand uh, the energy market uh, thanks uh, 
to the support and advice of the HEAs. So actually the HEA supports energy poverty. We have carried out SWOT analysis to verify exactly what are the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats of the HEA's actions. Well, one of the biggest strengths of this model is that as the HEAs are operators already working on the ground, not on energy poverty, but they already have the trustworthy relationship with the people in need, they are able to reach out on the energy poverty topics to people who otherwise would not have received any advice uh, on their energy needs. Uh, on the other hand, uh, a weakness, uh, but more related uh, to the issue of energy poverty, is that uh, people who are supported by the HEAs uh, may find it difficult or may need a long time to actually take up the advice uh, provided them by the HEAs. Uh, on the other hand, uh, an opportunity of, uh, of the model is uh, that they actually are able to work on a local ground and reach out uh, and engage uh, specific people in, uh, in need. Uh, and uh, a threat, uh, which may also at the same time be a strength and a weakness, uh, is that there must be a strong relationship between the HAs and the people in need and the HEA must work on a non-commercial basis. This is extremely important that there are no market logics in the advice provided by the HEA, which means that the uh, responsible of the HEA model must also verify, constantly verify and monitor the goodness of the work of the HEA. So actually the HA, the assist model based on the HEA is a win-win model. It is a winning model for the organization taking up assist model. They can integrate the services on energy poverty. It is a win-win, of course, for the people in energy poverty as they actually receive the advice. And overall, it is a win-win model for the entire tackle against energy poverty. So what are we now planning to do? We are now hoping to uh, scale the assess model. We did verify the context analysis within the assess project. We did carry out the pilot activities within the assess project. We are now within the suit project uh, aiming to build uh, a delivery and scalability plan of the assess model. And we hope to launch the national and uh, also the European HEA network in order to energy poverty. Here are some uh, stakeholders uh, who may be interested in taking up the SS model. As you can see, the actors uh, come from uh, public sector, but also private sector, energy sector, but also social sector, which uh, shows uh, the real holistic approach of the assess model. As you can hear, as you can see here, there are uh, examples uh, of how uh, the assess model can be taken up by the various actors. Just to quote the first one, municipalities can take up the assess model within their sustainable energy and climate action plans and build, for example, um, a help desk to provide uh, advice to citizens on energy and more specifically on so what we are now doing is uh, to collect advice uh, on how to deliver the, the assess model and how to scale it. And if you have any suggestions, uh, we would be happy to get in contact with you. So please uh, do not hesitate uh, to contact us. Uh, these are our contact details. Uh, we really do look forward uh, to receiving any advice or support uh, or suggestions uh, on how to promote uh, the assist model. Thank you very much uh, for your attention.